Hello everyone and welcome. Um, I decided to put a bit of a tutorial together on how you can tell a fake versus a genuine Master System cartridge. I did do a, a very short video on it uh, last year, but um, I got quite a bit of good feedback on the tutorial last week. So I decided to do this um, that's a bit more in depth. I'm going to be using um, my fake copy of Boggy, Buggy Run, the reproduction copy. Um, I am actually, someone has actually um, shown an interest uh, in it. They're well aware of what it is, that it's a repro. So I thought I'd do this video before I send it on to them quick. So, so yeah, in a nutshell, I, I thought I'd break it down into two areas, really. First of all, um, to check the cartridge, you're going to need a, uh, a Sega security bolt screwdriver. Um, it was actually my friend Andy that put me onto these uh, last year when I started buying some of the big hitters. Um, just so I could double, triple check that they were all genuine. And they are, luckily. Uh, I bought this one quite a while ago. Sorry, this one. <laughs> quite a while ago. Um, from a cart modder uh, in France. Um, I mean, I jokingly call him French Terry, a chap called Thierry. Um, yeah, so basically, the two ways of telling are firstly, the sleeve. And these, although they, at a glance, yes, they look the same, there are some subtle differences. Um, and, and that's what I want to talk to you about before we look at the cartridges. So basically this is the copy that is not completely, you know, it, it's a reproduction. And you can actually see that the writing here, the Sega logo, they're not as sharp. And that's because, you know, and there it's quite fuzzy as well. And um, that's because um, the quality of the, the inkjet printer that they've used or the whatever quality printer they've used is just not the level. It's not the same uh, quality that Sega would have used back in the day for mass production of a retail product um, of which this is. So this is my um, genuine copy of Buggy Run. And you can just see that it looks a world apart, that certainly the back and the colours look ever so slightly different. So that's like, if you hold them basically side by side, you can see there are differences. Just the shading is slightly different. The writing is slightly different. When you turn it on the back there, that's where you can see the really big change. Give you a, a slightly closer look. See, so yeah, that's how you can tell with the sleeve. It just it doesn't quite look right side by side. The difficulty is that you might not be fortunate enough to have two copies of Buggy Run. Um, to know you might not. Do you know what I mean? You, you'll be shopping on eBay, and you'll just have to look. So I just recommend that if somebody is genuine. Um, then they're not going to mind you asking for some close-up pictures to double, triple check. I'd also recommend anybody that is buying a big hitter and they're just not sure if it's on eBay or whatever, or even if you go somewhere um, to buy it, um, ask them if they've got one of these and if you'd mind taking a look at the cartridge. So I'll start with... my uh my genuine cartridge of buggy run yeah there's some writing on the manual but i still had to pay a, a fairly pretty price for it unfortunately and you just want to be fairly careful when you're opening these up you don't want to be losing any of the screws so i'm going to pop that one there And this one here and 
then again, you just want to pull it apart fairly carefully and have checked this one when I bought it last year, so I know that it's all okay. And that's what the insides look like. That's what it should look like, as you'd expect it to. They're all genuine components in there. And the sticker looks how it should as well. So now what I'm going to do, this is my reproduction copy and oh, <laughs> little note, a, a bit of a, a joke last week. If you've not seen, then go, do go back and check out the charity shop uh, April Fool's Day thing I did. Now, the first thing you, that you'll notice is actually the, um, the label isn't 100% stuck on. But imagine that it was. I mean, it looks... Let's just pop that there. They look different anyway. So that's something else to look out for, for sure. But let's pretend they looked identical. You would still need to go into the cartridge and double check what's inside. It's what's under the bonnet, really that kind of gives things away, so to speak. And that's how you can identify a reproduction cartridge because the cover here will just be a donor. It'll be a, some other game that they've used. And you can immediately see the PCB is much bigger and There we go, to, um, I'm not massively technical, but from what I understand, for a bigger ROM, they've had to put on an additional chip. Now these chips, they do have a name. I will have to Google it again. Might be written on there actually. No, it's not. Um, but they do have a name, these chips. Um, like I said, I'll just have to double check what they are again. But you can see that looks a world away from that. Just look completely different. So, so yeah, so in a nutshell, guys, that's how you tell. And yeah, I think... Um, because of the size of the ROM, they have to use extra memory. That's like a, a ROM memory or RAM memory, something like that. I'll have to Google it, like I say. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much the tutorial over. Um, thank you ever so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Uh, I put out new content two or three times a week, mainly focused on Master System. Hopefully you found this helpful. Guys, thanks ever so much. I will talk to you and see you again.